Hi there, welcome to Sim Racing Corner. Cartcraft, the latest early access update has given us the eagerly awaited VR support. And it's a lot of fun in VR and it brings out the best playing experience from Cartcraft in my opinion. I'm really enjoying it and I highly recommend it. Okay, so the idea of this final benchmarking video is to compare upscaling of the game graphics using Steam VR super sampling versus the in-game resolution scale option. We use this upscaling method in VR to improve the sharpness of the image and reduce the jaggy effect that can add a shimmer to the edges of the graphics. Of course, it does make the PC work harder, uh, but if your system can handle this, it makes a good difference to the overall image fidelity. Whenever I see this question asked online, uh, the general consensus is use Steam VR super sampling over any in-game super sampling option as the preferred method uh, for all VR games. I think the reasoning is it's supposed to be more capable uh, using Steam VR, uh, maybe faster performance and better looking results using Steam VR super sampling. Uh, but is it really? Let's find out with Cartcraft. Uh, this was an easy video to produce since I had already ran many laps uh, trying different settings to find a good balance of visuals and performance for the benchmarking videos. Uh, so I had plenty of recorded footage to play around with. Uh, the split screen video shown here has Steam VR super sampling at 140% on the left. On the right hand side, we're using resolution scale of 140 in Cartcraft's in game graphic settings. Uh, all other settings are the same. And here's the answer no suspense or drum roll, um, there's actually no difference. The average frame rate is 1 FPS apart in favour of the in game resolution scale option over the course of the 8 lap race. It's a meaningless difference uh, which could go either way if you ran the test multiple times. And is there a difference in visual quality? Um, absolutely not. In fact, I thought it looked a bit sharper using the in-game resolution scale. Uh, but having reviewed the raw footage uh, of the video side by side afterwards, um, and I can't tell one looking better than the other. So, job done. That's the answer. It's the same thing. It's something I was curious about, uh, so I figured I'd share it with you. With VR, we're trying to squeeze out every drop of performance, as VR gaming can always do with more powerful hardware. So this is very much worth testing the theory. There you go. It's a short video, as it's a simple answer. And I would be interested to find out if there is other tested evidence out there to prove my findings are different in other games. Uh, until then, I think it's pretty clear with these results. And that's it. Um, I'll let the race run through. You can skip to the end and see how things pan out with the numbers. Um, I hope you found this useful. Uh, please like the video if you did and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And that just leaves me to say happy simming and bye bye for now.